Well, if you like a good view with good food, then this farm to fork is for you. This week we are at Crawdads on the River. We have the inside look into how they make their famous fried shrimp tacos. On this week's Farm to Fork Friday, we're taking you along the Sacramento River. Kind of feels like you're on vacation when you come to Crawdads on the River. We have General Manager Brooke Tachibana with us, and we're going to show you how to make some of their really exciting things from the summer menu. This, of course, is your longtime customer favorite. Mussels and chorizo. Which sounds so good. And then also, this is like my favorite salad here. The Cajun shrimp salad. The Cajun shrimp salad. I highly recommend. But this is new, right? This is our Nashville chicken sandwich. It's uh, some spicy slaw and a brioche bun. Mm, and is it a little spicy sauce as well? Yeah. Okay. I love that. And I love the fries here as well. So you're going to show us how to make what today? Uh, shrimp tacos. They're um, fried, deep fried shrimp tacos. Okay. And so, you know, things are fresh, especially when you're right here along the river and they've got this beautiful outdoor dining patio area that really makes you feel like you're on vacation. <laughs> may not be that far away, but you can, if you can't get away, this is a great place to get away. So how do we make these tacos? If we want to okay. make tacos? Well, so we, how do you fry your shrimp? So what we do, we use our beer um, beer batter. It's um, a little bit of tempura um, batter, some beer, um, and then we lightly, we dust it, batter it, and fry it. Do you have a favorite kind of beer that you like to use, Jill? Uh, we use Modelo right now for, for our beer. Yeah. America's favorite beer yeah. is Modelo. <laughs> All right, so that's how you make that. And then um, what we do is we start off with, um, we do double tortillas. Okay. Um, and then what we do is we put them in our basket. All Sorry. Right. So put them right in the basket. Yes. Okay. There you go. And then we start off with um, some chipotle aioli. And how do you make your chipotle aioli? Um, it has um, mayo in it, chipotle, garlic mostly is what it's made out of Quite and then tasty. what we'll do is we'll cut the shrimp. Oh. All right, so you cut up all the shrimp in yeah. nice little bite-sized pieces and then we stick them on our tacos. Just can you, I, I think when I order this, I get it grilled. You can get it grilled okay. too, if that's your, your preference. All right, um, I do then we, grilled. Then we do put some slaw on there. Which you could buy that in the bag at the grocery store. I like yeah. that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Eileen Jabora will tell you, don't do that. Just slice it yourself because you get so much more and it's so cheap. Right? And then we do some sour cream, mm -hmm. so drizzle on Little there. Crema. And then we'll do cotilla cheese. Oh, do a little cotilla on top. Mm-hmm. And then cilantro. So popular. A little cilantro. Everything's so fresh. It's nice to be able to get all these ingredients right here. Yes. And then this is house-made pickled onions. How do you make your house make pickled onions? Well, it's with red wine vinegar and a bunch of spices. It's a that secret <laughs> recipe. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to get a secret recipe for a sauce. I just have to ask. Then some salsa, salsa the and then we'll put a little lemon wedge then, on it's there. It's really nice to squeeze lemon on top. This yes. looks delicious. Brooke, thank you so yeah, much. absolutely. Look at these farm fresh shrimp tacos right on the river. From Crawdads on the River, that's your Farm to Fork Friday.